You are listening to socialtv.co.za with myself, Nogutula Kwela. In our top stories from selling Amasi in the township to supplying bullies, and Saika and Anglo-American launch new financial excellence program for mining SMEs. Beginning with our top story is Olile Soga and his family at Trailblazers in the dairy industry. What sets them apart is their dedication to their craft and their commitment to supply informal markets while already playing in the formal economy. Not too long ago, Zolili and his family sold amasi and raw milk from the back of a bucky because they could not meet the demands of the formal market. Today, their family-owned enterprise, DY Trading, supplies milk to Clover for the Woolworths dairy brand. Zolile and his siblings, Nozipo and Mkolise, farm in Odendalsrus in the Free State alongside their well-known farmer mother, Disebo Magadza. Her journey in agriculture started in 2000 when she worked a small plot on a commonage they currently lease a government-owned farm. Moving on to our next story, the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants Enterprise Development, SICA, ED, has partnered with Anglo-American Zimele to implement a financial excellence program that will empower 66 small, medium and micro enterprises, SMMEs, within the mining sector. The program is aimed at improving SMMEs financial management system to run effective operations and create business sustainability. The 12-month enterprise development programs are now underway and focus on financial excellence. Through this intervention, Zimele hopes to achieve several objectives including developing financially savvy SMMEs through finance coaching, receiving credible and up-to-date management reporting system, accounting and back office support, as well as playing an active role in rebuilding a sustainable business. Ten startups from across Africa have been selected for the 2022 Telesol Group Africa Startup Initiative Program ASIP Accelerator Program powered by Tech Accelerator Startup Bootcamp SBC AfriTech, an African-based and lead multi-corporate black tech accelerator that specializes in unlocking and growing pan-African tech opportunities. The announcement was made following a rigorous two-day selection process held in Dhaka, Senegal, from the 9th to the 10th of March, with 20 semi-finalists pitching to judges and stakeholders. In total, 2,295 applications were received from 58 countries. The current cohort was selected based on the impact of their proposed solution, scalability, vision, and whether they had the necessary skills to succeed in their markets, quality of leadership, commitment, market timing, growth potential, and comparative advantage. And in our final story, African startup Move Africa, which provides revenue-based vehicle financing, will expand to seven new emerging markets in Europe, Asia and the Middle East in the next six months after raising $105 million in its latest round of funding. Its CEO said, launched in 2020, Move uses a credit scoring system to provide vehicle financing to customers who purchase new vehicles for ride hailing, logistics and deliveries using a percentage of their weekly revenue. Move is part of a new generation of Nigerian-born startups that are appending financial services across Africa, where the majority do not have access to bank finances. To recap our top stories, from selling Amasi in the township to supplying Woolies. For more CSI-related news, you can visit our website at www.socialtv.co.ca.